All right, well, thank you very much uh, for buying our Nimble, our newest Nimble scooter, the Nimble XL. And um, we're working on the assembly manual right now, so for the time being, um, we're going to show you on video how to assemble the scooter. Alright, so after you have all your parts unboxed, um, you'll start off your assembly with the rear frame, okay? And what you'll do is you'll take your 3 8 inch bolt, alright? You take your rear deck and make sure that you put a washer on the bolt first and you start sliding it through the front fork, I mean the steering fork. Okay, and then afterwards, whoops, before you even do that, you're gonna put uh, a nylon washer between the fork surface and um, the deck surface. Okay. okay, and then you put the other nylon washer there. Okay. And then you push it through. All right, and then you put another metal washer. And then finally, the nylon lock nut. It's not uh, it's called a nylon nut. It's actually made of metal, but it has a nylon um, uh, bearing surface on the inside. I'll lock it down. And you just take your uh, okay. and just sink it down so it's nice and snug, and the nylon washers will allow the deck to pivot up. Okay? That's and there you go. Alright, so the next step uh, once you've got the deck and the rear frame um, assembled is to put, it, um, we call it the H bar, all right? You're gonna put it into these two posts, okay? Now, the thing is, is you want, there is a front and a back to this. What you do is you look for what we call the slam latch, okay? And this slam latch should be oriented facing the rider, okay? Oriented facing the rear deck. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide these two posts right in, inside. And sometimes if it's a little bit uh, off-center, you just kind of um, press it until it catch it in there into these two posts and then you want to slide your post straight down and then you've got two set screws now you're not gonna you're gonna leave these loose for the time being okay and the reason why is what you want to do is you're gonna lift up your rear deck and on your rear deck there's a, a catch uh, bolt right here and that's gonna slide right into your slam latch okay and the reason you left these two nuts, I mean these two bolts loose, is so that you can make a little bit of an adjustment if, if uh, this uh, catch bolt doesn't line up with the slam latch. But if, in our case it does, and so you want to just check it a couple times, okay, you, you lift this lever up to release the slam latch, and if you look, the catch is pretty clean, so then you're ready to just uh, tighten these down. Well, the next step is, um, once you've got the H bar in place, is to put your handlebars in, okay? Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to tilt the, the frame down so you can see it a little better. I'm just going to pull the rear deck up and tilt this down, okay? And all you're going to do is uh, basically just slide your handlebars in the H bar, okay? And there are these two little bolts here that are going to hold hold your handlebars in place at the height that you want. You want to leave those loose until you've got the, um, the scooter fully assembled, so that way uh, you can adjust the handlebars to the height that you prefer. So now that Aaron's put the, put the scooter frame off to the side, we're going to go ahead and assemble the front half of the frame. Okay, And this is your front frame. All right, and you've got a, a plate here that the casters will mount onto. Now this caster plate, all right, the surface of this caster plate will actually be in contact with your plastic tub. All right, I'm gonna set that aside here right now. And Aaron's gonna put the scooter tub right here. Now if you take a look, you've got eight caster holes right here, okay? And I'm gonna swing around here. What you're gonna do, Take your front frame, 
place it and line these holes up as best as you can, okay? And then you've got these quarter inch bolts, okay, quarter by 20, okay? and you're going to put a washer on it and you're going to lace them through the back okay? of the tub. Okay? And it helps just to put one down first and put the pester right through there. Okay, for the next step, um, Aaron's going to bring the rest of the frame in place and you just assemble this in previous steps. I want to make sure that these two wires, oh, we're going to flip it out there. These two wires, these two brake cables are kind of loose and not kinked up. All right, and all we're going to do is we're going to take the frame okay, upright and we're going to line up the holes on the frame here. Now you've got these longer bolts. You're going to put a washer on them and you're going to run them through the top. It helps to have somebody here helping you out. And the reason you loose fit these on the front casters was so that you can make an adjustment if you need to. And then put a nut. We're going to tighten all this down once all the bolts are in place. Okay. It's really important. Don't start tightening down until everything's already kind of loose fit. After we loose fit these, is we've got two more right here on the H bar, okay. And on this one, you're going to use shorter bolts that come with it, but they're still quarter by twenty uh, threading. And you're going to put a washer on the bolt, okay. And you're going to slide it through from the tub side. You put a washer on the other side, and then the nut, okay. And the reason why is because these. Um, these mounting holes are a little bit oversized so that you can make some adjustments um, for the height uh, so that the slime latch can go into place. Okay, so again, bolt, washer, tub, plate, and then washer and nut in that order. Okay, so this way you can you can move the H bar up and down and um, and adjust for the slime latch. Once all this is in place, then just go ahead and. Uh, Start tightening them down, uh, all the bolts, and once they're all tightened down, your uh, scooter's ready to ride.